Here we are, we're at the Docky Beehive. Justin, tell us what's going on. All right, well, I'm setting up the, uh, the Wi-Fi for the, uh, all the temperature probes and the humidity so we can connect to our internet and then get readings so we can send it to the website and get data. Doesn't look like there's a plug, Justin. How does that get power? It's all solar powered right here. Nice. So, and then it's just all internally powered and then everything is run off this little box. Excellent. And you're checking it with your phone? Yep. You could, anybody could for I can, free download it to I can pull the data from my phone and then I can read it off. So. All right. And then we get all the data updated to our website. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Alyssa, would you help me get the cover off this? And we're going to take off the insulation for the winter because we're going to get at Get the cover off, and then we have this black cozy right for the winter time. Yeah, take off the winter cozy so we can get access to what are called the supers and the brood chambers. Ooh, these brood minder uh, sensors, what's that about? We haven't had those yet. Yes, these brood minders we put in just to make sure that it was giving signal. Can you explain how this works between so these sensors? These communicate with the box, and there's little lights on here to indicate high? when they are connected. One of them is temperature and the other one does humidity. What we're installing today is just weight. So these just monitor temperature and humidity in the beehive so we know that everything is okay. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. So last week when we tried to do this, the bees are busy doing their work and so the propolis or the gummy glue was sticking the different supers together. So we just put it on the top just to make sure it was working. It was kind of a trial run. Now today we brought the tools and not only are we going to try the scale, Special bee brush. Nice. Yes, it's softer. Spare no expense in our beehive. Not like a mastery. Viking funeral. We're not going to light them on fire. Right? All right, then we're going to take these out, right? Uh, yep. And then we're going to put the cover back on. Put the cover back on. This is for airspace. So there's a little insulation with air, and there's a, an absorption board right here. So this one underneath absorbs moisture, so the humidity, so it doesn't get wet in there, and we don't right. get bee popsicles. Right. And Lisa Deneen donated that yeah. to our school. Cool. And now put the cover on, not this, this we one. don't need that yet, just the cover. And then this is the external cover. And then if there's any dead bees here, Alyssa, you could just brush them off. And then we're gonna move these, but we're gonna first we're gonna move the scale. Maybe you want Alyssa uh, holding my phone here so I sure. can help you guys yeah, yeah. lift. Can you do that with one hand? Okay. So, Justin's going to put in the batteries. We took them out because it was busy trying to find the signal. And we were down here. you got to be within, what is it, 50 feet of this? Whatever, the, I don't exactly I think it was know the range. 40 is. to 50 feet? I think, yeah, 40 to 50. So he's going to put the batteries in and then he'll flip it over and show you that it's trying to find the signal. Right? Can we get a little close up here? <laughs> we watched several videos of beekeepers around the country that have done this and as well as the company. They're based out of Stoughton near Madison. And so then, the little indicator light means it's trying to find searching the, uh, the brood minder. And actually, it stopped blinking, so what I believe is that it has found it and it's paired. Yep. So I will check my phone quick. See if it's giving data. Mm. 5701OC. And each probe has its own sticker on it with a code on it. So, listen if you want to put those other ones down, or I could take them off. Yep, these each have their own code on them. So this one, that's what we look up, these code numbers. 
to the app on your phone and it'll be on some computers. And on our, that, what will be on our website then? A link so that people can go to our At website? At the beginning, a link to the Broodminder website showing data. And eventually, Justin and other students have talked about making our own plugin for Detective. our own website so we can put our data directly. But that'll take a little manpower and Justin, computer you're, expertise. You're checking and that's active? Yep, 5701 OC right there. It's on there, it's found, so cool. it's working. And these two are still working from last week? Those are the two you checked last 4703 week? 4703 EC, 56021D. Yep. That's it. They're all working. All right, so one is specifically temperature, one is temperature and humidity, and that one is weight. You could throw this back together now and not let it smell on. And then Justin and I had a discussion, right, Justin? Other way, flip it over. Um, as to what now? Flip it over so those spheres oh, go yeah, in there. Right. And then... Some people didn't use the plastic, but it says on here, save all the plastic for future use. We decided with our weather and how wet and humid it can be here that we're gonna keep all the plastic on. We may have to subtract a little bit of weight with this holding it down yeah. a little bit, but we thought better to protect the battery cover and not have it be corroded over time. What are you doing now, Justin? Testing to see if it's trying to reading weight. see if it's going to send the signal. Because there's little indicator lights on here that I'm can pretty see. sure show what is yeah. connected and what's sending data. Hey, look, here's one of the stickers, Justin. Remember we couldn't find the sticker? Oh, are they already pre-applied? There's one on here. There's not one on the other one. Alright, we're gonna take a close-up of them like kind of getting Data. So are we putting these other sensors in the top portion we first? Had or we're um, we're going to yep. do the weight first, okay. then we got to do a little muscle power with uh, the crowbars, kind of the beehive tool, because we tried to pull these apart by hand last week and they're stuck together because okay. the bees make what's called propolis. It's basically bee glue. Yeah. And so they're stuck together because they want their house in order and they don't want anyone messing with it or it's shifting. So we're going to have to take those crowbar kind of things and make it a little farther apart so we can slide these in. Well, last week we just put them in the top to make sure they were working. Okay. Is it working? It's not getting data here. Let me check. Make sure it's connected to... Let me push on. Oh, it's I'm double checking it's connected to the internet here. Oh, right on top it says don't forget to use the green belt. So you were right, Justin. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. And then we rewatched the videos. Um, we had seen them like a month ago. Um, but about how to install this. This goes on the front of the beehive. And then this piece of cut two by four. Thank you, Mr. Cracker, for cutting it. Mm -hmm. um, goes in the back so it's level. And Justin sure. said he has a level in his phone. So we can lay it on and use a level in his phone to make sure it's pretty much level. Cool. If it's off a little bit, I brought some shims so we could shim it. 